Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Welcome, Mr. Secretary. Thank you, Senator. Mr. Secretary, do you agree with the President that we should ban the private ownership of assault weapons in America? Senator, I do. What is an assault weapon? It is, for example, an AK-47. Uh, can you give me a definition other than just pointing to a specific weapon? Would there be other weapons besides an AK-47 you would ban? Uh, there uh, uh, very well are, and I remember when I was a federal prosecutor uh, in the Central District of California from September 25th, 1989 to, I believe it was April 2001. And I thank you for uh, your all service, of the, but if all you could of the law enforcement, the, the vast majority of law enforcement officers, uh, leaders uh, with whom I worked uh, uh, were uh, greatly in support of the assault weapons Mr. ban. Mr. Chairman, you know why we get so frustrated with you? Because you won't give straight answers. I think I just did. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Do you have an, a, def, a definition of an assault weapon? Uh, I am confident there is a technical definition of what is an assault weapon, uh, and it was uh, assuredly used uh, in the context of the statute that previously existed banning assault weapons. Um, Mr. Mr. Secretary, our, our southern border is not secure, is it? Senator, um, I have spoken about this. I believe I've addressed this earlier in the hearing. Why don't you let address me, it again? Of course. Let me, uh, let me share with you um, a few things. Number one, when I speak of the security of the border, I am speaking of maximizing the resources we have to deliver the most effective results. So and we, let me we, assure we, you we, that we are doing secure so. because we're trying to secure it. Are we succeeding? Uh, Senator, we are so focused on the security of our southern border. We are doing so much with but, respect but to succeeding. the surge of how, personnel. How are, how are, you're not succeeding. Oh, Senator, let me share with you that the challenge of migration that we are experiencing at our southern border is not exclusive to the United States. It is something that is gripping the entire hemisphere. But my job is to worry about the United States. Mr. As is Chairman. mine. As and, is mine. And here's my question. Let me try to rephrase it. And I really do wish, I understand the position you're in, but you really should try to do a better job of answering the questions. Um, under the Biden administration, we have the most encounters, we have had the most encounters with people attempting to come into our country illegally in the history of ever. Under the Biden administration, we have had the most people entering our country illegally in the history of ever. Under the Biden administration, we have had the most uh, gotaways at our southern border in the history of ever. Uh, under the Biden administration, we have had the most number of people entering our country under a claim of asylum, having that claim turned down and still not being deported in the history of ever. And under the Biden administration, we've had the most fentanyl coming into our country in the history of ever. How can you possibly say the southern border is secure? Do you know I understand you, you, your answer that you're trying, but I'm not asking about your efforts. I'm asking about the results. Well, let's talk about the results then, Senator. Do you know that um, last year we expelled and removed approximately 1.4 million uh, people from the southern border? I, th I believe that's the most ever. Do you realize uh, that we are focused on enforcing our laws to achieve the security of the southern border? I, I know people... you're focused, Mr. Chairman, but you're, or Mr. Secretary, but you're not succeeding. Uh, Senator, and I just... And when you come testify to us, you talk about how you're trying really hard. And, and I don't have any way to disprove that. I, I, I accept that statement in good faith. But the numbers belie that. Let, let, if I can, Senator, let me give you an example uh, of a solution that we uh, have delivered that um, for some reason is being I, contested. I, I, Mr. No, no, Mr. because it's, it's caused the 95... I, I gave you 30 seconds, okay? It's, don't, it's caused the 95... Don't filibuster me. It's You've caused, been doing that all day. I'm just trying to I'm ask I'm just trying questions. to communicate 
it has, it has led to a approximately 95% drop in the number of encounters in between the ports of entry at our southern border of Cubans, Haitians, Nicaraguans, and Venezuelans. Mr. Secretary. On January 5th. Mr. And why Secretary. would that be opposed when it is delivering precisely the result that you seek? Did you just parachute in from another planet, Mr. Secretary? Because you're the only person in the Milky Way who believes that we're not having massive, massive illegal immigration into America. Senator, you're, you're, um, you're putting words into my mouth. No, sir, there is, I'm there accurately is, describing the situation. There is no question, there is no question that we have a very serious challenge at our southern border. Okay. It let is me, a let challenge. Me, well, I, is we can agree on that. Let me ask you another question. Um, why don't you just declare a new policy that other than children, if you present at the southern border, you claim refugee status, you claim political asylum, and you haven't claimed refugee status and political asylum at the first safe country, then you can't come in. Um, uh, Senator, so first of all, when one presents at the border, it's an asylum claim. Not but why refugee, don't you do that? Why don't you just unilaterally you know, declare that it, a, a safe third country policy? It would work. You can't come into America. If you're coming from Venezuela and you come through Mexico, if you didn't claim asylum in Mexico, you can't come here. You have to leave. Why don't you just do that? Well, uh, Senator, uh, let me give you an example with respect to Mexico. A safe third country agreement uh, let's hypothetically assume... You don't have to have an agreement with Mexico. Yes, you do. No, you don't. I believe you do, Senator. No, you don't. I'll have Other to... countries don't do it. Just adopt a policy that says, except for children, because you don't want to send children back by themselves. Just adopt a new policy that if, if, you, if you didn't seek asylum in the first, safe third country, you can't come in, period. Uh, Senator, are you aware of the notice of proposed rulemaking that we issued, the comment period of which closed yesterday. You've which, had two years to adopt a policy. Like I just described, why haven't you done it? So, Senator, what we have done is it, But we why have, have you done, haven't you done that? We have surged enforcement resources. We have but why haven't developed, you just adopted... Please, if you would, Mr. Secretary, answer my question. It is my understanding. Why haven't you, why haven't you adopted unilaterally a safe third country policy? That would stop, except for children, all the folks from the Northern Triangle countries, all the folks from Venezuela, all the folks from Cuba, all the folks from the Middle East from coming into our country. Why haven't you done that? Uh, Senator, it's my understanding that those, two things, it is my understanding that those agreements do require uh, You the, don't have to have an agreement, agreement with anybody. It can be a policy established by the Department of Homeland and Security. Uh, Senator, uh, I'd have to uh, review the. You legal... haven't reviewed that. You haven't considered me... that possibility. Let me let me finish, if I may. Sure. Um, I would have to review the under uh, the legal underpinnings of your well, assertion. Well, you better get reviewing. And I also you ought to get not... reviewing. You're, this is the first time that's occurred to you. I also do not think that that is sound policy. You don't think that's shut... that? This is the first time that's occurred to you. I also do not think that that is sound policy that we should shut down our entire asylum system. I didn't say shut down the entire asylum system. I, I, I said safe third country. All you have to do, Mr. Secretary, if you're really serious, and it's beginning, frankly, to appear that you're not, is adopt a policy that says we're not, we're not seeking anyone's agreement. We don't have to. If you're coming from a, another country, and you come through, let's say, Mexico, and you say you're, you're, you're seeking asylum, you have to seek it in Mexico or the other first safe third country, or you can't come in. Period. Done. End of story. Why don't you do that? Uh, uh, Senator, um, uh, I don't think that we have the unilateral authority. Sure you do. Other uh, countries do Number one do and it. number two, as if I mentioned. If you try sneaking into China. As I've mentioned, I do not think that is sound policy. Why? 
uh, because you are basically shutting down our asylum system. No, you're not. Least. You're saying we, we respect, we honor your right to seek political asylum, but but you, you're cherry picking. Do it in Mexico first. Why, why have you done that? I, I've, I, I think I've addressed that issue, Senator. You don't want to do it, Mr. Secretary. That's what it's beginning to look like, because you think our borders ought to be open. And it would be more intellectually honest if you just say that. That is false. I, I don't agree with you. You have to watch up here what people do, not what they say, and everything else is just cottage cheese. Uh, Senator, I don't think Thank I you, don't Mr. think that 1.4 million people who were expelled or removed last year would consider the border open. Mr. Chairman, you've had, or Mr. Secretary, you've had billion, uh, millions coming into the country illegally, the most of the history of ever under your watch. And everybody knows that, apparently, except you. Either that or you're not being forthcoming with We've it. also had the largest number of individuals expelled or removed from the southern border. And if one takes a look at the apprehension uh, and encounter uh, numbers, uh, and then the removal uh, numbers, one would have a different uh, view. If you do the safe third country policy, that'll solve half of your problem right there. Thank and you, you're Senator. not denying anybody asylum. Thank you, Senator Kennedy. Senator Ossoff. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr.